Hey, hey, I am doing arithmetic operations with functions, part one. Here we go. So what is an arithmetic operation, you ask? Well, let's add, subtract, multiply, divide, subtract. How about that? Multiply. Or divide. So what do I mean do it with functions? Well, if I had something like this, f of x was uh, x squared plus 3. And g of x was, let's say, uh, 2x minus 5. No. What we want to be able to do is we want to be able to add those two functions together, or we want to subtract those functions, or we want to multiply the functions and divide the functions, right? So the, the deal is uh, today, what they're going to give you is they're going to give you values. So let's say we put um, two in there, all right? Well, what this says is take two in F and take two in G and add those two answers together. So if I put two into F, that'd be four, five, six, seven. And if I put two into G, that would be four minus five, negative one. So F plus G would be six. What do you think? How about that? Let's do F plus G of negative two, just to see if we can get it right here. Negative two goes in, that would be positive four. Plus three, that's still seven. Negative two goes in here, that's negative four. Minus five, that's minus nine. Hey, that's negative two. See, these are the answers to that kind of problem, right? So um, let's do a couple of subtraction ones as well. And then we'll come and do the multiplies. So if I do uh, minus, let's do subtraction. So four goes in here, that's 16. 16 plus three, that'd be 19. And four goes in here, that's eight minus five, right? Eight minus five, that's three. And we're supposed to subtract those numbers. 19 minus three, I can do that. 16, yay. Let's do it again, only this time with negative four. Negative four, well, that's still 19, right? Because that's 16 plus three, that's 19. And then I'm subtracting. And if I put negative four in here, I get negative um, eight minus five, that's negative 13. Minus minus makes plus, right? Minus minus makes plus, 19 plus 13. 32, those are the answers, right? What if we had them multiplied? Let's, you know, let's do an easy one so it's easy for us. One plus three, that's four, times two minus negative three, that'd be negative 12. Let's do one with negatives just because that would still be four. Negative one would be negative seven for that's negative 28. Hallelujah. You see what I'm doing? All I'm doing is plugging the number in here each time and doing what it says, multiply the two things together, All right? So the last one, woo, the last one, what if I did F divided by G and I pick say three, okay? F, three goes in, nine, 10, 11, 12, that would be 12 on top. Put 
put three in here, that's six minus five, that'd be one. Hey, that's 12. And we don't have to divide F divided by G. I could do G divided by F. I mean, it works both ways, right? So um, what if I did that and I picked, I don't know, one. Let's pick a number one. So this would be four. No, no. G is first. So one, this would be negative three. And this would be four. Negative three fourths. Ha ha. Ta-da. See, that's all there is to it. That is what today's homework is all about. Enjoy page 169. See you later.